Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the victory of Ad Diyar, which won the 2021 Epsom Derby G1 in Britain, one of the most prominent horse races in Europe. His Majesty the King hailed the great achievement, which represents an honorable qualitative addition to the UAE's distinguished record in the field of horse racing at the global level. In the cable, His Majesty the King praised the unlimited support and great interest that His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum attaches to equestrian sports, which yielded many honorable achievements and results accomplished by UAE riders in various regional and international races. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the victory of Ad Diyar, which won the 2021 Epsom Derby G1 in Britain. His Royal Highness hailed a great achievement which represents an honorable qualitative addition to the UAE's distinguished record in the field of horse racing at the global level. In the cable, his Royal Highness praised the unlimited support and great interest that His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum attaches to equestrian sport, which yielded many honorable achievements and results accomplished by UAE riders in various regional and international races. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the victory of Ad Diyar, which won the 2021 Epsom Derby G1 in Britain, one of the most prominent horse races in Europe. His Highness said that the achievements of the team, Godolphin, owned by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, confirms the successful march of the team, thanks to His Highness's interest and support, pointing out that the Emirati victory is a Bahraini victory in light of the strong relationship between the two brotherly countries. He pointed out that His Highness Sheikh Mohammed's support and great care has turned Godolphin into one of the prominent international teams, which competes on top positions in all major championships and races. He lauded the Godolphin team, which has always amazed the world with its high capability, which is the fruit of the interest and support of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa wished Godolphin further successes in upcoming races. And the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed that the successes of Team Bahrain Victorious internationally confirms the team's successful march thanks to the support provided to sports in Bahrain by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness expressed happiness at Team Bahrain Victorious' cycling Marc Padon's victory in Critrim du Dauphine in France, which witnessed fierce competition for top positions. He added that the victory is an extension to the previous successes achieved by the team, stating that the accomplishment represents a source of motivation for the team to continue on the same behavior. Moreover, His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the capabilities of Padon wishing the team the best of luck this season. Team Bahrain victorious star cyclist Damiano Caruso has stressed the key role of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the team's achievements, the most important of which winning one of the stages of the Garo di Italia Tour and securing second place in the general standing in the same competition too. Moreover, the 33-year-old Italian cyclist has praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser's close follow-up to the team in general and the support he provided to him in particular, stating that this has enabled him to top the podium in Gairo di Italia. Speaking during a press conference held at Four Seasons Hotel Bahrain Bay, the Italian cyclists expressed utmost pride to represent the Kingdom of Bahrain in the cycling sport through Team Bahrain Victorious underlining that the team has become a unique milestone in the sport and an inspiring icon for many young people. He indicated that the team is following a precise strategy stretched by His Highness Sheikh Nasser since he established the team in 2017, affirming that the strategy was the reason that enabled them to accomplish unique achievements. He added that the team, thanks to the vision of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has become the main driving force of the development process for cycling, not just in Bahrain, but also in the region. Caruso 
confirmed that the team is looking to win the titles of the Grand Tours, including Cairo di Italia. I'm uh, very happy to come back in Bahrain after two years and uh, I, I feel the good connection between uh, the, the our team and, uh, and, uh, and Bahrain because I think uh, also here the cycling is, is improving and, uh, is, uh, and also we can see we have a new rider who comes from Bahrain he joined in this team uh, first time this year. I, I met him, uh, I met uh, Ahmed in January first time in the first training camp and uh, he was a good guy, really good guy and uh, he showed his talent and uh, I'm happy also for him and uh, for Bahrain because uh, uh, new talent now is in the World Tour uh, from Bahrain. That's important for him and uh, for uh, his nation. I'm sure in the, in the next year uh, uh, Bahrain is uh, growing up in the cyclism because we, we saw already uh, that one rider is, uh, was able to reach the highest level in the World Tour in, in the cyclism. So I think uh, the, the investments are, are, are good because uh, we, we saw already the, the, the result because it's not easy to have one rider in a World Tour level and uh, Ahmed he show he can stay there and uh, he, he is part of our team 100%. I feel the connection between uh, Bahrain and uh, the team is improving day, day, year by year. You know? It's a, like a story, love story. You know? Every, every year getting better and uh, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, we are proud about, uh, I think the people in Bahrain is proud about uh, his team and uh, we are proud about uh, Bahrain because it's always important uh, when uh, you, you have in your jersey one, uh, one flag like Bahrain. It's really important to show across the world how it's important uh, and the, the feeling with this, uh, with this nation. The Labour and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan stressed the importance of consolidating the ongoing national efforts to limit the spread of the COVID-19 virus by raising the level of the precautionary and preemptive measures at work sites to protect workers, safety and health. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to promote a healthy and safe work environment that is free of various occupational accidents and hazards and communicable diseases as part of the precautionary measures recommended by the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus and the Ministry of Health. The measures mainly include limiting workers gathering in areas of limited capacity, leaving a safe distance, applying social distancing standards, and providing means of protection for them by providing temperature detection devices for workers and placing sterilizers in visible places at work sites and at entrances preventing crowding at workplaces and in vehicles for transporting workers. The minister revealed that the Labor and Social Development Ministry had carried out as many as 14,176 inspection visits to workplaces across the kingdom since the spread of the pandemic and until May 2021. In this regard, Hamedan pointed out that the current challenges should be turned into success opportunities by ensuring the sustainability of the workplace safety, developing work methods and creative effective risk management systems, stressing the importance of taking advantage of the successful experiences in confronting health risks and vocational accidents. The Ministry of Health continues its efforts to ensure the implementation of precautionary measures to combat the coronavirus as the Public Health Department carried out inspection visits that included 220 restaurants and cafes, with 35 being fined and two closed for violating COVID-19 precautions. The Ministry of Health said that during the visits, an emphasis was placed on raising awareness of the precautionary measures and decisions announced by the National Medical Task Force noting that the importance for all enterprises and facilities within different sectors to abide by all health measures required as the loss of life in the event of negligence is more harmful. 
The ministry called on everyone to continue their commitment, emphasizing on the importance of following all health and medical measures as a national and social responsibility in support of national efforts to combat the COVID-19. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Minister of Health announced that 992,747 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 811,912 had taken the second dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 25,573, with 2,400 recoveries, 1,492 registered new cases, and 19 deaths. 625 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 865 are contacts of active cases, and two are travel-related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.